Hello, the end is nigh, tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Smacks, Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri, Alien Crossfire, with me, Blue Ankylo. In our last episode, we've pushed the border way into uh, the caretaker's territory, and we are doing a good job. We've even killed off a few of their jungle bases, which have proven kind of tricky, but, uh, you know, they're, they're losing bases like crazy. My estimation is one or two more episodes, and we will be done with these guys, and we'll rule all to ourselves. So let's go. I am trying to go a little bit quicker these days to save time, and uh, it's working out pretty good. Oh, what are they doing? Drone rides have I wonder ended. what those things did. Production complete. They Drone could have failed. Ended. That was up here, right? Hmm. I'm not 100% sure what they did to this base. It sucks. I think the problem is that the probes can make it from this base to this base in one turn, and that's what's getting in my way. So maybe I'll have this place try to build some probes to defend itself, because uh, it's kind of it's going to be a problem if they keep sending those that way. Yeah. Although I mean I could just try to take this city out. Uh, I don't know if these things have enough movement points, because I don't have any more needle jets for this turn. Do I want to catch it? No, I don't really care. Capture it, that is to say. I just want to destroy it. Or I captured it anyway. Never mind. Double movement for elite. So good. Elite troops are so powerful. Okay. Rest up. I'll send one of these guys over. Good. Well, that worked out better than I could have imagined, actually. I'm telling those to just stop caring, just to hold for now, because there's no point really bothering, I don't think. Let's see if I can destroy this place. Dawn of Planet? Maybe that was the first base they made. It's not very good. This is the end of it. <laughs> we are definitely on the final countdown, I think. It's pretty hard to imagine them stopping me, I have to say. I mean, uh, even if they built needle jets themselves, I have such an, an advantage in numbers over them. Like, I don't know how many needle jets I have, but I probably have like dozens. Dozens and dozens of them. I want you to go there. Let that guy defend the base so that I can destroy it with gas. I assume it's gas. Unit lacks required ah, abilities. shoot. Unit lacks required ability. I'll kill the former at the very least. Gas even the formers. <laughs> okay, Let's see if I can blow any of these things up. Unit lacks required nope. ability. There we go. This should be the end of this city. Good. Good. Excellent. Rest up for now. I might send these guys to attack if I need to. All my land units there. I captured another one. Wow. What is my planet score? My planet score is only plus two. And I'm capturing like crazy today. That's nice. And yesterday too, for that Okay, guard, road, wrong button again. <laughs> um, kind of the opposite side of the planet for where everything is now. We'll go to here first, and then on from there. You, though, will go that way. Hmm, anything else to blow up here? Unit lacks required ability. No, nothing to blow up today. Come on home, then. And I should send a couple more that way. It'll have a nice range from here, I think. Turn complete. Okay, no big deal. Oh yeah, we're almost there. This is this is going super easy. Production. Just gotta make sure they don't do anything stupid, like capture one of my bases that I'm not paying attention to. Maximum population reached. Sure, good. Production. Complete. Good. Production complete. Send them on up. Maybe you can make it that far. I don't know. This guy's a little bit hurt. Let him heal. See if I can blow these up this turn. No, no. I need to. I need to get some land units up here. I think. Okay, you guys. Someone kill that former, so it's out of my way. Done. And you. Not much to do either. I'm kind of waiting for these guys to get in the bases over there. That'll be good. there. That might have been too far away, I don't know. 
<laughs> Try again. Um, go up. We'll make a route, a road that direction. Is there any airships here? There should be. There's one. We're gonna go check it out. What do they got? Come on. They got one mind worm. Well, that's not gonna be enough. Maybe it is gonna be enough. It was enough! Crazy! Perhaps a careful review eh, just attack. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's just a mind worm. Ah, I captured it. Woohoo! Request Wasn't even really planning on it, but seeing as they only had a mind worm defending it. Mm, you can head up this way again, why not? Sure. I got so many units that I've stolen. That's crazy. You're gonna head this way and steal a base. Oh, can I make it in one turn? Wow, that was too easy. That was too easy. I forgot we get roads. Road worth road effect from fungus now that's just that is crazy <laughs> I think we're I think we're good guys I think we are good caretaker worms they're not taking enough care let's kill this guy off yeah should be no problem back in the base guard for now um I guess we do need to destroy Star Harmony, so let's get to it. Oops, wrong direction. I use the numpad for attacking most of the time, if you're wondering. Sometimes I press the wrong button. Just the wrong number. This might destroy the base. Not quite. Is there anyone in it still? No. Um, probably kind of have to wait till next turn, I guess. Oh well, no big deal. Let's see if I can destroy this thing. Get, make sure this thing's out of our hair. And we're just gonna move our ships, our, our needle jets forward. Oh, I did build a probe. Didn't even need it after all. Just too fast. Didn't even need my probe. Mm, you can go up this way. More needle jets. Might as well start basing up forward. It's like, tactically, it doesn't even hardly matter now. It's, I think we're good. Okay, yeah, I know I got a lot of needle jets. We're prepared for anything. We're totally prepared for anything. If you could get in base, though. Okay. Thank you. Company. Thank you. All right, let's finish this up. They've got a f just a handful of bases left. Improvement destroyed. Oh, well. Um... Sure, 630, that's not too expensive. Upgrade everything. I finally got fusion. I must have researched it finally on the last turn, basically. 30 energy, just do it. 210, just do it. 300, do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. Keep doing. Yes. Yes. I'm spending a lot of money, but it's fine. Yes, just just moder I made too many different units, I think. Uh, the Chaos Penetrator, here we go. From now on, only build the Fusion version. I can actually upgrade them all. I have enough money. Awesome. Woohoo! Our ancestors Fusion! The power of the sun. Planet Buster! The only thing I like more than Needle Jets. Missiles are probably pretty good, too. Sure, we'll, we'll research it, why not? Complete. So, if I'm correct, it should actually take less minerals to build them now because Production I have the fusion. Complete. So it's, it's even more OP. Complete. I'll be able to produce better ships Production even faster complete. if I go to the unit thing. If, you're, if you haven't seen the other, uh, the other version I did, basically what happens now is... The other campaign, sorry. I'll take a needle jet, I'd give it chaos gun and probably still no armor because who needs armor? And... If I used fission, it would cost 50. If I used fusion, it cost 30. It's nothing. I can still give them nerve gas for a slight increase and like morale or whatever it is. Uh, high morale, there you go. And it's, for 50, that's so cheap. I, you know, that's just ridiculous. 
So anyway, all my needle jets should be um, times two now, 14 times two. They have twice the uh, hit points. Not like it really matters, but uh, you know, it's just gonna be that much harder for them to die. Uh, let's see if there's anything in the living standard. There is! Blow it up. And is that it? That was it. So now I'll use my one lone conqueror to take it, or at least destroy it. That'll work. Alright. So what they got left? Four bases? I think... I think we are at the end, folks. So good. Good times. I've had some good times. I've learned a lot on this playthrough. Like, uh, I was expecting it to be more difficult, but I think I've just sort of improved my, uh, my strategy enough that it's just not that much. It's not that hard. It's a good game. Definitely a fun game. Totally recommend it if you guys have never played it. If you're still watching and you've never played it, I mean, jeez, what's wrong with you? Go give it a try. It's old, it's cheap, it's lots of fun. You could waste a lot of hours on this game. <laughs> could waste a lot of hours. Give me a needle jet. It does take a little while to get used to the controls. If, if there's anything I would say is wrong with it, it's just the controls are a little bit old. And it takes a bit of work to get used to them, I would say. But other than that, there's nothing. It's a good game. Another one down. Oh, there was a, even a unit up there. I could have destroyed whatever. Do do do. Is this their last base? Might be their last base here. And it's got nothing in it. That's how far they've fallen. They've got one base with nothing. Oh no, they've got this base too. Never mind. Not for long though. Mind worms defending it, of course. It's actually pretty clever. I'd say they do better off when they defend with mind worms than they do when they defend with anything else. So, because I can't use the chemical weapons on mind worms. <laughs> I don't know why not. Should be able to gas the worms. Is there anything else? One more unit. It might be the last unit I have to kill this game. Wow. Come on, up you go. Destroy it. And destroy the base. Gotcha. Okay, I think we're, we're basically done here. They've got like one one base left. And nothing defending it. That's it. So all I need to do is make sure I've got a rover or something that can get there, or a mind worm or something. Uh, rover, head on up. Almost made it in one turn anyway. Really don't need most of these units. Everyone can just rest for the turn. You can head on up because that's what I'm going to need. That's <laughs> so many needle jets. This is ridiculous. <laughs> That's what happens once you've got the production lead. You can just go crazy. Uh, right, road. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's just end turn. Just do it. I'm sure I didn't miss anything too important. Destroyed. Okay, we're good. Production. We're good. And do I need to blow any more defenses up? I might. Unit max they have no units. Wow. They couldn't even build a unit that turn. They must be broke. They couldn't rush any more units. Alright. I just pick up this guy. Cancel orders. Walk on in, my friend. And this should do it. Conquest victory achieved! Woohoo! My first conquest. Last time was my first research. This was my first conquest. Action eradicated. I will put a cut there so you can see the destruction of the last alien. And that's it. The last caretaker defeated. Woohoo! Interlude. The final interlude, I imagine. You can barely believe it. You insisted on joining the search parties, setting the wreckage of the last caretaker's base. Not because you felt your minions were incompetent, but because you had to see for yourself that the final victory was at hand. And what glorious wreckage! The dead bodies of caretaker's followers litter the ground. Destroyed weaponry and the rubble of embattled buildings litter the streets. Even amid the death and destruction of your distant kinfolk, you feel an odd sense of elation. The hated enemy is destroyed. 
Leader, the force commander alters the sound of distant explosions coming to you for extra emphasis to his words. This is a great day. What do we do now? You know what he means. What steps shall we take at this time? But his words do raise a deeper question. What is the fate of your own people now that their primary goal is accomplished? We build, you alter, surprising him. We build towards the day of summoning of our allies, or toward ultimate conquest. The fate of Manifold Six is waver waving in our hands. We must not falter. Now, if I remember correctly, reading through the uh, the, the notes for this uh, this expansion, you actually could have summoned his own people and done sort of a construction victory. You can build up special um, space things in six I think it's like six of your bases and then you actually summon your alien fleet and win that way I just figured it'd be faster to just conquer everything another epilogue you ride the howling needle jet exactly and land back in the capital in record time needle jets are so good the pilot was obviously trying to impress you and he succeeded you hurry into the command room and savor the waves of resonance as they show you the surface of manifold six Everywhere you look, you see your own forces. There are a few shattered remnants of enemy resistance, but they are mere pockets of color in an otherwise clean wash of the progenitor tide. When all else fails, you recollect, you reflect. Simply remove all opposition. Then there is time enough for any plan. You're not sure if you want to contact the homeworld right away or further your own power a bit first, but it doesn't matter, does it? There's nothing to stop you no matter what you decide to do. It's a very, very good feeling. Well, that's cool. I don't even need to use the home rule. We can just do it ourselves and get our own victory. Awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. That is uh, the win. You can see our score here. This time I didn't have to do any cheating, air quotes, to uh, fix a bug in the game or a, a crash on the game. So that's nice. Um, close that up. And you can see, I don't know, Planetary Archives. 82%. Seems like we did pretty good. Following your retirement, the people collect your most memorable writings into a hollow book of wisdom entitled Men are from Chiron, Women are from Nessus. <laughs> I don't know why aliens would do that. Did that mean we won? Are we at the top? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, you can see some score stuff here if you want. I don't know. This is my first expansion game. I won. <laughs> um... Not a high, not a super high difficulty. There's two higher. Uh, I, I definitely could have done it slightly, slightly more difficult. I think I would have been fine. So there you go. That's our map of how we took over. We had our little island, and uh, once we were ready, we just took over everything. To wash, this should go down real fast. Bam. Matter of a few turns, and that finished it up. So yeah, starting islands, no one to attack us. Amazing faction. We win. I am good. Uh, is there anything you want to see? Um, we can go through a couple stats here. Seeing as it's, we didn't research nearly as much as usual. In fact, we barely got halfway through the tech tree, and I probably could have won it earlier if I'd been more aggressive. So you know that shows you it's not that hard with this faction. Um, income was good for energy. I built almost all the uh, the secret projects. I missed those two, I think. Uh, but I would have got them if I captured them. Instead, I destroyed their bases, so whatever. Um, what else was I going to look at? Best bases, you know. Blue the Ankylos, pretty good, but Mel's Bar did all right too. Nice to have some naming from the subs, that was cool. Um, what am I looking for? Never got to satellites. I have a lot of units. Um, 179 altogether. 38 needle jets I believe and I've lost like 10 or something over, over the game maybe you can see them in here somewhere where are our needle jets probably oh here we go 38 active 8 in production I only lost 10 of them I'd say that was a pretty good trade off those guys really won the game for us I could have done it with land units but that saved me so much time that was awesome and my final score of course so I believe that's it uh, so thanks for watching folks do you really want to quit? That's it for now. Indeed. Look up to you. Yeah, sorry about that. I forgot it wouldn't take me to the. Uh, <laughs> it would take me to my desktop rather than my my title screen. This is where I want to be. So anyway, uh, that's all for my uh, my series on Sid Meier's uh, Alpha Centauri or Alien Crossfire. Uh, I think that was a, a good fun, and uh, I I have done my best to make a, a nice uh, 
Let's Play of the two. So, uh, I think that's it. I probably won't be recording any more of this game. It's been a lot of fun, but uh, I, I'll just play it on my own if I feel like it and try harder difficulties and stuff. And uh, I 100% I recommend it for any of you guys um, that are looking for an old game to play. So, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the series, and have a great day.